Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install or download Minecraft game on your Windows 11 computer. Now to fix this, first of all, sign out and sign in again on Microsoft Store. So open Microsoft Store. Now on the top over here, you can see your profile icon, click on it, then click on sign out. And then again, click on your profile icon, then click on sign in. Select your account and then click on continue. It will be asking for your PIN or password. So enter your PIN or password and then after you logged in, you can go ahead and try to install Minecraft once again. Also make sure date and time is correct on your computer. So on the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. So make sure date and time is correct. If it is not, make a right click and then click on adjust date and time. And then click on date and time. And make sure set time automatically is on and you can go ahead and select the right time zone as per your reason so select the right time zone and then for some reason if you are unable to make changes over here you can scroll down here you can see additional clock click on it now click on date and time and over here you can see change date and time option click on it and from the top here you can go ahead and correct your month and year and you can go ahead and select the right date from here and you can also make changes in time so you can go ahead and set the correct time from here then click on apply and in my case it's already right so i'm clicking on cancel so in your case after you make changes click on ok apply ok and then you can go ahead and try to use microsoft store now still you're facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and try to install the minecraft game from the library so open microsoft store on the bottom left here you can see this library option so click on it when you click on it go to games and then you can go ahead and scroll down and find minecraft and in front of minecraft you should be able to see the install option so click on install so try to install it from library now still you're facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and run windows store troubleshooter for this go to the start menu then click on settings to open windows 11 settings then go to system now scroll down over here you can see troubleshoot option click on troubleshoot then click on other troubleshooters scroll down and here you can see windows store apps so click on run and once the troubleshoot is complete you can go ahead and try to use microsoft store now still you are facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and clear store cache using ws reset commands for this you can go ahead and type in ws reset in windows search box and then click on ws reset and you will see this black screen do not close this black screen this black screen will go away automatically and then it will open microsoft store. so here you can see black screen is gone and it's opening microsoft store so now you can go ahead and try to install minecraft still you're facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and update windows 11 for this go to the start menu then again open windows 11 settings go to up windows update and then click on check for update and once the update is installed restart your computer and then try to install minecraft now still you are facing the problem in, in that case you can go ahead and reset store app for this go to the start menu again open windows 11 settings now go to apps and then click on apps and features now now you go ahead and type in store over here and then click on microsoft store in front of it here you can see three dots click on it then click on advanced options scroll down over here you can see the reset option click on reset reset and after the reset you can go ahead and try to install minecraft game once again now still you're facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and restart these services for this you can go ahead and type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find windows update in the list scroll down here you can see windows update make a double click on windows update and then make sure startup type is set to automatic then click on apply now if start is highlighted click on start then click on ok with windows update selected over here click on restart the service now do the same thing with microsoft store install service so once this is complete you can go and find microsoft store install service so here you can see microsoft store install service make a double click select automatic and then click on apply if start is highlighted click on start okay with this selected over here click on restart and again find background intelligent transfer service make a double click on 
make a double click on this option then select automatic again click on apply if studies click on if studies highlighted click on start and then click on ok with this selected again you can go ahead and click on restart now once this is done you can go ahead and use microsoft store try to install minecraft now still you are facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and re-register microsoft store for this copy this command this command is provided in the video description so copy this and open powershell so you can go ahead and type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator this will open windows powershell screen now you can go ahead and paste this command over here and then hit the enter key or you can make a right click on the start menu and then click on windows terminal admin make sure that you are opening windows terminal as an admin click on yes to allow and from this drop down options click on it then click on windows power cell and then paste the command over here and then hit the enter key this will go ahead and re-register microsoft store now still you are facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and uninstall and reinstall microsoft store for this again open power cell so you can go ahead and type in power cell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows power cell then click on run as administrator to open windows power cell and then you can go ahead and run this command to uninstall microsoft store or you can simply make a right click on the start menu and then click on windows terminal admin and then click on yes to allow and then copy the first command over here to uninstall microsoft store then click on this drop down option over here click on windows power cell and then make a right, uh, paste the command over here hit the enter key this will uninstall microsoft store so next time when you type in store in windows search box you won't find microsoft store now after you uninstall it you go ahead and restart your computer and after the system restart copy this command which will go ahead and reinstall microsoft store make a right click copy this and then make a right click on start menu then click on windows terminal admin and then click on yes to allow and paste the command over here and hit the enter key this will go ahead and reinstall store so when you type in store this time you should be able to open microsoft store now in case this command is giving you some kind of error message in that case you can go ahead and copy this command and then you have to run this command in powershell window so again type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator then click on yes to allow and then paste the command over here hit the enter key this will again reinstall microsoft store in my case it's already installed that's that's why i received this error message but in your case you will not receive this error message and you will have store on your computer and then you can try to install minecraft now still you are facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and run these two commands for this you can go ahead and open command prompt so type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app then click on run as administrator to open command prompt and then you can go ahead and run this command now you can also run this these commands in windows terminal so make a right click on start menu then click on windows terminal admin make sure that you're opening windows terminal as an admin then click on yes to allow and then click on this drop down option and then select command prompt over here and then copy this command paste it over here and then hit the enter key and once this scan is 100 percent complete you have to run the second command so once this command is 100 percent complete you run copy the second command over here and then paste it over here in the same window and then hit the enter key once the second scan is complete you can go ahead and restart your computer and use microsoft store the next step is to run this inet cpl.cpl command so you can go ahead and write inet cpl.cpl in windows search box then click on inet cpl.cpl and then go to the advanced tab and then scroll down over here you can see use tls 1.0 1.1 1.2 1.3 all is selected so make sure that all is selected over here so just make sure tls 1.0 1.1 1.2 1.3 all are checked over here then click on apply okay and then try to use microsoft store now in case if nothing is working you can go ahead and reset windows 10 now before you perform reset make sure that you create a backup first because during the reset you might lose all the data on the computer so create a backup and then reset windows 10 for this go to the start menu click on settings now click on windows update over here on the bottom over here click on it then click on advanced options scroll down here you can see the recovery option click on recovery 
and then over here you can see this option which says reset this pc now click on reset this pc and then you can go ahead and follow the on-screen step to perform the reset and after the reset you have to set up your computer once again and then you can use microsoft store so one of the steps should definitely help you to install minecraft successfully on your computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel